Love Island's back and so are the claims of racism and abuse and ITV are gonna do their best to bat them away. The internet's talking about it and so are we. Like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. So it did not take long, Love Island's back on our screens and so are the allegations in the form of New Islander who's just stepped foot into the villa. Feel this, boyfriend material. George Fensum, uh, he's received multiple claims from a uh, few of his exes saying that he's abusive and controlling. He's also faced some racism allegations. Let's have a look. One of the allegations that's been doing the rounds for quite a while comes from his ex-girlfriend of two years, Ebony, who says that uh, George drove her to the brink of suicide and that ITV need to kick him out. Speaking to The Sun, she claimed that George cheated on her, told her what to wear and got her to pay for everything. She says that ITV shouldn't be giving him a platform, it's dangerous to have younger boys look up to him and for him to potentially be emotionally abusive in the villa like he was to me in our relationship. George's family has dismissed the rumours, they're saying that they're completely false and unjustified and hurtful. Now that's one thing to go off but then we've had a second uh, girl come out and say that George left her with PTSD. Uh, she's really distraught. So one of his exes, Katie, is the second woman to make such claims against him. She claims he controlled what she wore, cheated on her and made her feel so worthless that she even stopped eating. Katie has gone as far as to warn ITV and said that they need to listen to both women that have come forward. They aren't doing it to be vindictive. She says that at the beginning it was lovely, but after six months I started to see how awful he was. She also said he made comments on her appearance and would scream abuse at her in public. She believes that he cheated on her on a lad's holiday to Zanti. She says that that's when I started to feel worthless and lost my confidence and stopped eating. But when I asked him to be truthful, he would instead accuse me of cheating. He gaslit me into thinking I was crazy, so I would doubt myself. There's a lot coming out because this, the other claim to come out as well um, is to do with racism and how George is, um, so we've got some extremely concerning behavior um, that George surrounds himself with a very well-known group of racists in Bedford. Uh, he's pictured here posing front and center uh, with people that have been quite controversial and there's screenshots and all sorts about on group chats to do with some racist messaging. Now it is worth noting that the racist messages used uh, the language used, it referenced, it actually relates to other individuals and not George himself. Uh, but it's the fact that he has been driven into this and there's a lot of allegations, a lot of people coming forward and painting a really nasty picture of him. If it's true or not, that's anyone's guess and I'm sure we'll find out as the episodes uh, go on. Both girls go into quite a bit of detail in it with the son. Now, again, it just makes you wonder, are Love Island doing background checks when they're bringing these people on? Because it's not he's not even stepped foot into the villa yet and already you've got all these allegations coming out. Um, it remains to be seen whether Love Island will address this in the past when it's happened with contestants, claims like this that have come out, especially the links to racism there. Uh, when claims like this come out, they tend to just get rid straight away or find some sort of exit route for them. It remains to be seen if they're going to do this with George. And, you know, in this day and age of social media and all these past allegations coming up, um, it could happen to anyone and they might not even be left with a cast at this rate. Off the bat of the stuff that's going off with Philip Schofield, ITV needs to be really careful with these kind of allegations and the next steps. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm going to be making loads more Love Island uh, videos. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.